Today on the show, we are talking classic movies with our good movie friend Todd Summers, and we are talking wellness with Dr. Hatch from Brain Rehab Clinic. And we're going to talk about how in a relationship you sometimes have to hide the shampoo. Oh no. Yep. Shampoo and all this wonderful stuff coming at you right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. And welcome back to Talk 365. It is a gorgeous morning. I'm Holly Love. And I am Trip Mitchell. And we do this each and every day <laughs> in opposite land. So, moved into the new house. Yes. And I used to buy, and we talk about this a lot, my aversion to paying a lot of money for shampoo. Which you have been completely ridded of. I'm praying that Vita has, if any human has done it, it's Vita. She's got... She, $40 shampoo. And the problem with $40 shampoo is it, it doesn't... It works. No, 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 no. It makes your hair stay in as opposed to falling out. You, you put this stuff in your hand and you go like this. It doesn't foam up. You've got to go for 45 minutes to get a lather going. Because that, you're used to using like straight sulfides from like Pro. toxic... Yes. Yeah, or... Yes. So what they use to clean 40. oil off the street and your head is the same exact soap, just in a different bottle with a different a, label. Yeah, if you see an oil spill out in the Gulf of Mexico, they use Prel. Uh -huh. So anyway, so you spend 45 minutes getting it, finally you get a lather going. Mm -hmm. So you feel like there's some cleanliness going on. Then it takes an hour and 45 minutes to get the crap off. Whereas if I use because my- Because it feels nice. No. It actually, it doesn't make your hair feel sticky and gross. No, it actually no, no, makes, no, no, no. it smooths the cuticle. So I bought, I went on the black market oh, sorry, and got Vita. some suave. The black market. <laughs> yes, where Vita would never find- You mean the NPS find... store? What no, is no, that store get... called? No, NPS store. Yes. But you can buy suave anywhere because- uh, Well, yes, I know. People who aren't ridiculous women can buy shampoo. That's great. So I buy Swap. There are a lot of dudes out there who buy good shampoo. So no, 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 it no, is no, not exclusive no, to girls. No, 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 no. But let's get back to it. So I'm now so, hiding shampoo uh, in the bathroom. So I, that I mean, you can use your gross, cheap shampoo. So I've got duct tape underneath the lip of the sink. She'll never find it. And I just go under there and push a little thing and put some stuff in. <laughs> My showers have cut. I'm an hour and 15 minutes quicker in the shower now. <laughs> hey, what are we doing today? Okay, coming up next, we have got some talking movies, classic movies with Todd Summers coming up after the break, so you're not going to want to miss out. Stick around. It's only a matter of time until your check engine light comes on, or worse yet, your car needs repair. That could mean a big surprise auto repair bill. That's why it's so important you call Car Shield today. I was elated that I had Car Shield. I was more than happy. It's no fun when you have a car and it's broken and you can't pay for it to get it fixed. So if your vehicle has 5,000 to 150,000 miles, just tell us the make and model of your car or truck and get an instant plan quote. In a matter of minutes, you can be covered. My experience with Car Shield is that they absolutely come through every time I need them. If my car breaks down, I can count on Car Shield to cover it for me. Car Shield definitely has my back. Now it's the time to make the smart choice and protect yourself from sky high auto repair bills. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. It's only a matter of time until repairs are needed. And once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 1 800 466 1210. Get covered today. Talk 365 TV's Classic Movie Minute with Todd Summers. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. We're going to be talking little movies in a second, but old movies suck. Oh, just straight out of the gate, Todd Summers. Just like that. Look at this. I have a feeling you guys are going to duke this out. No, but... So know, now, Todd is of the school that a classic movie is from the 30s, right, Sylvia, to like about the 60s. That's when old glamorous Hollywood existed. 
He loves the lighting. He loves the scripting. He loves everything about old movies. And of course, that is what we're going to be talking about with him coming up in just a second. But go ahead and tell us why you hate him. Okay. The pacing, the quality, the writing, it's just slow. It, <laughs> it is just... For an ADD trip, Mitchell, it just does not hold your attention, no, does no, it? No, 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 no. But the quality of... So back then, when the movies that Todd loves were all done in the studio system. Yep. You know, for instance, some of the great movies, 1939 had more great movies than any other year. Name them. Gone with the Wind. Oh, okay. Yep. Wizard of Oz. You can't go wrong with either of those. Casablanca. These are beautiful Casablanca. films. Casablanca. Casablanca. Either way, potato, potato. Okay. All these great movies, they were all, Wizard of Oz is a little different, but Casablanca was just, at the last minute, they threw Humphrey Go... Bo Go Humphrey Bogart. Bogart you in. were so close. <laughs> I was... Was and the right way for pulling this off. But literally, movies like that, and there were so many wonderful movies, and I think Citizen Kane might have been in 39, though I could be wrong. Somewhere so all there. these, But you know what? It, it just, it was A, B, and C. All these people worked for the studio. They didn't have the creativity they had. In the 60s, when the studio system started to fall apart, that's when you had amazing writer and directors do films. And films are so much better now. Now, I wish that there were more films that older people liked. I wish there were more comedies coming out, because there are not as many. Mm -hmm. Now, it's just the big tentpole movies. And by tentpole, what I mean is... Marvel? Yeah, Marvel. Exactly. Tentpole means you do one, and then hopefully it's such a big hit, you can do sequels, five mm -hmm. or six, and then you merge people together. So studios would rather spend $250 million on a movie, because they feel that there's a lot less risk to it than to do something really smart like our The Big Sick that sure, we talked about last year. which we year. loved, or a really great independent film, or take a risk on a exactly. really like heartfelt um, independent writer that maybe nobody has heard of, or a cast and crew that maybe nobody has heard of. I'm with you there. But on the old films, I will say it is just a stylistic thing, and I think the pacing is actually really refreshing. It's something Todd and I agree upon. So at first, I'm with you. I first start watching an old film and I'm like antsy. So I think it was bringing up Baby. I, I used this example with Todd. I remember watching, they like showed the car driving down the street, turning and driving up the driveway. Do you know what's funny? As you're yeah. telling this story, Sylvia's Sylvia is going like this. telling me to hurry. I'm like yeah. boring Sylvia. Anywho, <laughs> yes. So pacing, I get it. But then once I get into it, I actually really like it. All right. Well, if you don't agree with Trip, you're going to like this next segment because Toddy's going to tell you what movie he thinks you should watch that's a classic film that's one of his faves. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Todd Summers with your Classic Movie Minute. Now, a classic movie to me ranges from kind of 1911, 1915, when Hollywood's really started getting rolling, to up about the early 60s. I know that there are a lot of classic movies after that, but for me, really the classic movies are mostly in black and white. And so here's one I want you to look forward to. It's from 1934, it's called The Thin Man, based on the novel written by Dashiell Hammett, starring Myrna Loy and William Powell. Now Myrna Loy and William Powell did six of these movies together. They did a total of 14 movies together, and they're just fantastic. So start with The Thin Man, the very first one, and then the rest of them. They're, they're kind of a romantic comedy mixed with film noir. So you can watch The Thin Man right now if you go to Google Play or any of the digital platforms. It's worth the $2.99. Check it out, The Thin Man. This is important news for members of the military who suffer from hearing loss or ringing in the ears, also known as tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued these dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be eligible for a cash award and medical expenses from the earplug manufacturer. If you or a loved one were issued the dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. That's Holly Love. I knew I got that wrong. And I'm Trip Mitchell. You got it. I, I had a 50% chance. Humphrey Bogard. 
Humphrey Bogart. There you go. But I didn't look up if all those movies were in 39. I felt very smart doing it, but I will, we will, Sylvia will put a graphic there. up on the screen if I was wrong. If you were wrong or you were right, we'll definitely prove you wrong. Yeah, and I've never fronts. gotten through Citizens Kane, and that's considered the greatest I haven't either, movie. and you're, ever, I mean, that's like a rite of passage. Everyone's supposed to have seen it. So. And I've joked about this. When I first watched The uh, Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. I said to my father, how come half the movie's in black and white and half's in color? And he said they invented color halfway through, and I bought it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. So um, I, I did buy it. You did buy it. How old were you when that came out? I was 37. <laughs> <laughs> That was last year. Yeah, he really, he used to fool five me. five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. You had never, that conversation. I never got that. But, uh, oh, that's cute. That was such a wonderful movie. I, I absolutely love Judy Garland. And that entire cast is brilliant. Love you know that. who and I love amazing? And we just lost, um, before the show, my friend James Brown called, who's a TV host in All Over. And he did a show. He did he Well, out of L.A., but he's done a bunch of stuff. But he hired Tim Conway to do his golf show and said Tim Conway was the nicest guy in the world. And the reason I bring that up is the Carol Burnett show where they did the parody on Gone with the Wind. I and, never saw that one. Rerun? Oh, rerun time? Oh, my God. They had... Amazon? She did. She put a curtain rod through her dress and wore curtains as her. That is one of the class. This is shocking. Everyone has seen the Carol Burnett Gone with the Wind. Tim Conway, Harvey Corman. I, I will have to look it up. It's on. I'll have to be one to watch. But okay, coming at us right now is not quite so much comedy. We are talking wellness with Dr. Hatch. He is talking misophonia, and this last year has been quite a wellness year for all of us on the show. We have all had lots of really fun transformations from weight loss to feeling better to all kinds of things and a big part of that has been with Dr. Hatch in the Brain Rehab Clinic. You will find as you jump into some of his content and onto his website that he f he ends up being an expert by default in a lot of things because with functional neurology, when you fix the function of the brain and the way it's working and you get it working right, it's amazing how many things that you're suffering with just seem to go away. And misophonia is one of those really rare conditions that he has become an expert by default in and he is helping people People across the world in this condition find help and find relief through the things that he's able to do both with the exercises he can provide and also the treatments and so what we've done is an incredible webinar series for a lot of these problems like misophonia um, anxiety and depression but today we are going to talk specifically about misophonia what it is and what he's figured out that is going on in the brain and how he's able to help people find relief so check it out Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Brain Rehab Clinic with wellness team expert, Dr. John Hatch. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love, and today I am back at the Brain Rehab Clinic with Dr. John Hatch. Dr. Hatch, how are you? I'm doing so good, thanks for being here. Thank you for letting us come down. I am so excited about this interview. We have something very special happening today because Dr. Hatch is one of a few doctors globally that treat a condition called misophonia. It's very rare, but people who suffer with it, it's a lot of problems, pain, suffering. It is a life-ruining condition. And Dr. Hatch not only has figured out how to correctly diagnose, treat, and greatly reduce the symptoms, but become really a leader and an expert in this field, an innovator as far as the way that you're doing it. And so today I'm excited to announce that not only is he going to explain how he came about knowing this information, he's going to share some tips and some exercises on ways that if you're struggling with misophonia, by the end of this thing you are going to be able to greatly reduce some of the symptoms you're experiencing by learning some of the exercises as well as learning learning more about the conditions. So Dr. Hatch, without further ado, let's dive in and let's start by how did you find this disease? How did it find you? And how did you develop this protocol that is working so well? Yeah, it definitely found me. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't something I had even heard about a uh -huh. year ago. Um, a dear patient had walked in and said, my daughter suffers from misophonia. I hadn't known what that was. And so I said, oh, wow. what are you, what is she dealing with? And basically most misophonia is diagnosed with a inability to take the sound of chewing. It's mm -hmm. mouth noises, nasal noises, sneezing, coughing, and slurping, and it creates a reaction in them that's aggressive or very annoyed by a sound, sometimes even into anger. Mm -hmm. And so children are isolating themselves, they're dropping out of school, parents have to do homeschooling. Worst case, 
Sometimes the parents have to put that child in its own room and the child isolates themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't eat with their family, they don't eat outside. Mm -hmm. Everything is catered, even vacations. Imagine wow. going on a vacation on a three to six mile drive mm -hmm. and no one in the car can eat. And then when they get out, it's everyone go in different directions, eat your food and then come back and get in the car because one child mm -hmm. or maybe two mm -hmm. are suffering from a reaction or the illness of misophonia. And this isn't just being bothered by somebody who who's a loud chewer, no. this is where they have a reaction similar to having an anxiety attack or a panic attack and then like you said which can lead to rage where it's an outburst which I imagine with smaller and younger children would be incredibly hard to go in public because there's no rationalizing or reasoning with them. Maybe the older ones, it's something they can't even control though, mm -hmm. let alone the younger ones, right? Absolutely. So those are some of the symptoms that you experience when you have misophonia. What is the cause? What's happening? So that was the, that's been the great thing to discover and figure out, is right now research on it, it's so new, it's only been started or coined the phrase misophonia for the last few years. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, no one knew what it was. They thought it was just someone who had uh, oversensitive sound. Uh -huh. um, but prior to that, uh, they weren't sure what was happening, what was going. Now new research shows that there's a combination of dysautonomia with a negative emotional wiring. And we're trying to juggle the two, and that's what all the research has been showing, is do you do this, do you do this, do you do this first and then this? Well, what I started doing is looking at how is this brain working and what are the parts of the brain that are involved with everything that's going on? Not just a single segment, but all of it. And so with the very first patient that came in, I simply said, let's talk neurology and let's mm -hmm. understand what is going on in the cortex. So we drew out the patterns of where sound travels and how you interact it and where the negative emotion is. And I looked at it and it was just like a light bulb. Mm -hmm. This is the area of the brain that's not working and now how do I change it? And so that's what's fun is here at the clinic we can do a bunch of diagnostic tests to find areas that run through that pathway of the brain mm -hmm. and if we can change it, if we can see the findings and then make changes to those findings and see that outcome, we watch their symptoms reduce over wow. time. And it's been incredible, humbling and amazing for those that have seen the changes. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-613-8965. That's 1-800-613-8965. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-613-8965. That's 1-800-613-8965. Today's wellness news you can use is brought to you by Brain Rehab Clinic. Welcome back everybody. You have been watching Talk 365 TV. I am Holly Love and that is Trip Mitchell and we are about to jump back into my second part of a two-part interview with Dr. Hatch from the Brain Rehab Clinic. We are talking misophonia and he is about to give us our first of three exercises that if you are a person who is suffering with misophonia, it can greatly reduce the symptoms. So we've put together a really cool thing with Dr. Hatch and what it is, you log on to his website and you're able to do a webinar where he will teach you all three of these exercises. We also have other webinars there. There's one for anxiety and depression, and it pretty much ends up being like a consultation that you could have on your own, on your own time. You can understand more about functional neurology, how it works, how Dr. Hatch works, how he's able to get the kind of results that he does for his patients, and you're able to get instant results by learning specifically for misophonia, the exercises that he has been working the last year to figure out are ones that work across the board for people who are suffering with this condition. And webinars are a great way to do it. You do things on your time, mm -hmm. but you have access to all this information. Great technology. It is fantastic. So without further ado, here you go, Dr. Hatch with our second part on misophonia. Let's dive in and talk about one of the three that you feel like could help 
people suffering right now. So one exercise I'd really like to share with people because this has made some big changes in people's brain and it's something that I've learned and kind of tweaked to my own little findings from other doctors uh -huh. um, is called vertical slingshots of cods. Okay. So vertical slingshots of cods are done with two targets, one at the nose level, one at about six to eight inches below. And your head is going to move down while maintaining your eyes on this target. And then when your head stops, then you look at the bottom target. Hold your eyes on that target, bring the head back to neutral, then look at the top target. What's happening in this exercise is it's negating a reflex. The reflex of the brain is when I look down, we all look in the direction that our head's moving. Mm -hmm. So if I tip my head up, we look up. If I look to the right, I, my eyes look to the right. Mm -hmm. I don't look at you and go, hey, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> or we, look up and go down. And look up I, and can, go, I, mean, I can't even do that. Yep, if we wanna go move our head down, our eyes will always wanna look in the direction of which we're going. So it's your brain's conscious brain to negate the reflex. So with the vertical slingshot saccade, again, you're tipping your head down when your brain wants to look at this target. And when you start this, you'll end up looking multiple times. So just be patient. Start slow, slower is always better, but you just tip your head down till it stops, then look. Hold, tip your head back to neutral, then start. And your eye is still looking. Does it matter yep. which way you have your thumbs no. or left, right, which one's on top? Nope, two things are happening too. We're also bringing our head down. Uh -huh. Head inflection drives the rubrospinal pathway, which will shut off the tectal reaction. And that's why we go from neutral to down versus neutral up. Because the moment I do this, I'm gonna go in that tectal reaction. So it's again, it's imperative that we start neutral, bring the head down, and then look, then bring the head back to neutral. Don't bring the head back, you'll trigger Ooh. the reflex. Wow. This is how specific a brain exercise can be. So possibly having somebody watch you do mm -hmm. the exercise because being in a tactile response, which in layman's terms mean your balance is back here in some way. So like he just said, if your head is even going back because that's a habit and that feels normal to you, you probably don't know it. So a neutral head is centered, yep. yes? Mm -hmm. And then again, starting here, moving the head to here and then the eyes. Yep. And starting sure here. the targets are directly in line with each other. Oh, that was key. It's very okay. important. That, so that's why you can put two Not targets. Not my thumbnails. Yep, you can put two targets thumbs. on the wall if you needed to. Okay. So how many times should they do that? How often during the day? Because not always just doing it when they're having a response, right? Mm -hmm. Or symptoms. Yep. What is your regimen? We usually look at brain therapy, specific brain therapy like that, 15 to 20 minutes max in a day. Mm -hmm. So we look at that simple exercise. I usually do it for about 10 times, which going slow is about a minute to 30 seconds mm -hmm. and getting that in somewhere between three and five times. We start slow mm -hmm. and we build up. If we're noticing we've been doing the exercises for two to three weeks and we're not getting enough change, we can increase the number of uh, times we do it in a day. Okay, so a gradual increase yes. and you can't do it too much? You can if you exceed that 15 minutes. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. There you go. That makes sense in there. So we are going to provide a longer web edition of this interview where we're going to keep Dr. Hatch and we're going to roll through the other two exercises. We're going to talk a little bit more about symptoms and treatments here at the clinic and ways to get a hold of him and ways to come in if you're from you know another country, how it all works, the ins and the outs. But for right now, Dr. Hatch, thank you so much for your information as always. I absolutely love coming down here. I love it the most because you help people who have run out of hope, who think there is nothing left, they've seen all their doctors, and if you're one of those people and you are suffering with something that is chronic, just think if he can help someone who is suffering with something this intense and this obscure, imagine what he could do for you. And for you, having something else to figure out why it's happening, if that's what you want, this is your guy. So get in here to Brain Rehab Clinic. You have some amazing new equipment. The gyro stem is one of only a few pieces in the world, and we have one right here in Utah. And what is the best way for people to get a hold of you and book an appointment? Go to uh, brainrehabclinic.com. All the information's on the website there. And right now we're about a month, maybe two months out. We do get cancellations from time to time and miracles happen and people get on the list when they're supposed to be here. 
So call the Brain Rehab Clinic, log on to their website to learn more information, and if you want the rest of these exercises, check out the webinar of this interview where we're gonna go long. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining Very me welcome. once again. And don't go anywhere, we'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Attention, those who have used Monsanto's Roundup Weed Killer in a commercial setting and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. In the past year, juries have decided that Roundup Weed Killer caused plaintiffs to develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. If you or someone you know were exposed to the Weed Killer Roundup in a commercial setting and later developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call now, 800-901-2879. This is important news for members of the military who suffer from hearing loss or ringing in the ears, also known as tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued these dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be eligible for a cash award and medical expenses from the earplug manufacturer. If you or a loved one were issued the dual-ended combat earplugs and now have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Healthcare for the Talk 365 TV team is provided by Body Renew. And welcome back to the show, Trip Mitchell, Holly Love. And uh, Todd did a great job. He is a classic movie expert. He doesn't like to be called an expert, but he really is. He loves classic movies. Yeah, and I. it's funny because Vita loves older movies. Mm -hmm. And they just don't appeal to me. And here's the thing, is that in my case, I love documentaries. I actually watched a documentary on Netflix about bars in Europe. Okay. Like the actual it, bars, and I highly enjoyed it. I'm a total nerd for documentaries. I think they're a blast. So here's a kind of a funny story. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were at, Vita clerked for Judge Benson, D. Benson, and he throws a party for all his clothes clerks and I was sitting at a table with a guy who was a documentary filmmaker mm -hmm. and I've told you the story and I'm talking to him and I said you know we were talking about what I do and what he does and I said have you ever wanted to do a commercial movie and he goes well I did one mm -hmm. and I go was it a good experience he goes yeah it worked out pretty well and I go did you make any money and he goes we did well and I go what was the name of it Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> Oh, nice. And it was a whole crew of Utah. And we've talked before how they were the Jared kings. Jared Hess and all yeah. Of, yeah. And this gentleman was named Jeremy Kuhn, and he was the producer. Mm. But he's gone on to do documentaries, and his last one that was on Netflix is about a couple kids down in the south who reshot Raiders of the Lost Ark scene for huh. scene. And it was fantastic. And so documentary, either like them or you don't. True. But... I love it. And to Did be you watch the one on Root Cause, the one on the teeth yet? No. You so should, because I think you'd really, really like that. I think that we should do a watch party, Vita, and we should do The Thin Man. Check God. it out on Todd's recommendation. Todd knows his stuff. He knows good movies. Put it this way. If you've got an hour and a half to live, watch The Thin Man. It'll make it seem forever. Oh, my. Or what's your recommendation, parting words? Uh, Slapshot is always good. Hey, for Holly Love, I'm Trip Mitchell. That is my one classic movie. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.